we're we're gonna do an adventure. My daughter and I are going to Mayo Lake in northern Person County to do some kayaking and it's pretty much my I've done a lot of Boy Scout canoeing and stuff before but uh, I don't think yeah I've, I've done a kayak before yeah but it was many years ago and Olivia for her birthday this month got a new kayak which she's so excited about Woo! aren't you <laughs> yeah all right yeah. So, anyway um, this I don't know if we should be going out because we've had several things that happened that um, <laughs> Are trying to say we shouldn't be doing this for example when we got the kayak and got home Olivia heard my back right rear tire hissing and it, it I you know I could hear it too and for some reason I have bad luck oh look at that big uh, I know. a big a turkey buzzard just Ooh. see now that's another that's omen. A, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that's another omen. See that turkey buzzard? He's like, I know where you're going. He it's knows something. Us. He knows something we don't. Anyway, <laughs> so that's the that's the third omen. The first omen was my tire went flat in the back rear. I have my spare on, so pray that the spare doesn't, uh, you know, get a leak in it. And these are Michelins, so I don't understand. Anyway, uh, the second omen, I was going to bring my own canoe, and I lifted it up off of the rack, and you can see the other video where I made the rack, and you could tell it hasn't been used in a while because there's a mama bird nest, <laughs> and she, as soon as I lifted it up, she flew out of it, and I thought, uh, nah, I would be in big trouble if I destroyed that nest. So I didn't do it. Yeah. And we've decided I'll just go ahead and rent my own kayak. <laughs> and uh, it'll be all good. So that's the second omen. And now the third omen is that turkey buzzard alighting on my front fence, watching as we leave. So let's, I'm going to record this in case there's a tragedy. We'll have a record for the insurance company <laughs> okay so stay tuned thank you all right we got here a little late so they uh, are not charging me Flotation protection. Oh, no, that's fine. Thank you. Wait till Olivia gets down here. Well, as you can see, this is a beautiful lake. It's really cheap to be out here, <laughs> especially when it's free today, because we're getting out kind of late in the afternoon. They we have to be back by three. Um, they didn't have any kayaks because they've been rented out, so I'm contemplating whether or not I should get a kayak. So we'll probably just uh, tool around over that way and not do too much. I've got my alarm set on my phone and we'll see how this goes. All right, Here comes Olivia. She's got a, uh, a wheel it's called a skag wheel on the back, so it makes it easy. She's got to learn how to do everything herself, so keep it low, keep it low. 
Livia, keep it low. There you go. All right. First inaugural huh? kayak. All right. Okay. The launching of the kayak. Be careful. You have your personal flotation device on. All right, here we go. Do you want to go over this way? Down that way? Yeah, let's do it. Wafting. It's comfy too. Look, I'm leaning against it and it's comfy. That, that uh, raft, I think, was what? 300 $340, I think. It's an Emotion Kayak Stealth 11. And it's not the type that you actually have a, a skirt on it. It's just a sit-on-top angler kayak. So there's a little place for... Um, we don't have it in there yet, but it's a device to hold your rod. If you're fishing. It's really stable. Is it stable? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Like I can lean back. Good. All right, we're gonna just paddle around and 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 I guess in technical terms it's called wafting. W a f t i n g. But, but what we're doing is a little cooler than that, all right? Yeah, we're always doing the we're cool little, the cool version. Yes, we're doing the definitely the adventure style. What a beautiful day. Guys fishing. Did you catch any? Yep. Because <laughs> it would have been totally different if I had one of those closed ones. Yeah. Like, I like this because then I can just, like, chill. Chill and, and get some sun. Although we do have SPF 50 or 100 on. <laughs> hey, I have 30, so I'll be tan. Well, I got to watch my delicate skin. <laughs> As you get older, it gets wrinkly. Nah, you don't want the. <laughs> let's let's just go down here and just follow this side of the the shore and see what it takes us. I can't get in the middle because it the wind gets too strong and. That's fine. I'm just cruising. Pushes my nose around. I'm just happy to be out in the sun and the water. Yeah. We used to have a boat on Car Lake, but we didn't get out very often, so it didn't make sense to keep spending almost $2,000 a year on a motorboat. So, this is nice. It's only 30 minutes away from the house, so. Great thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Hey. The inside of the bowl still dry, that's good. Good. like a canoe put-in area. Oh, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely we should use that instead of that big ramp, you know? I like the big ramp. I can, like, step in it really easy. Yeah, but um, 
I need to get my own kayak. Don't you agree? I agree. <laughs> Good luck to convincing Yeah. But again, I have a canoe, so I might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't complain. I bought that canoe used for 250 <laughs> Oh, how nice. Nice breeze. Beautiful Carolina blue sky. I didn't realize that it was such a nice park. We should have been out here before. I've heard of it. I mean, our barber actually has a house on this lake. Yeah. On Roxborough Road yeah. in Durham. Oh, is it the one you've always been to? Huh? Is it the one that you've always gone to? Yeah. I got my hair cut there once, I think. Am I? Just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's another dock over here. Interesting exploring Mayo Lake. It's a little cove here with another dock potentially we could use in the future. When I was a young Boy Scout, I think I was maybe 14, 15, maybe 13, 14, we went to the Algonquin State Park up in uh, Canada and portaged with canoes. My dad was there he, and at our base camp, it was an island in the middle of this big lake and it was really quite a trip having to carry canoes you know across land and then from lake to lake paddle across the lake and then and so forth and fishing and stuff I just remember one time the wind was kicked up pretty pretty bad and I was out in the canoe like this by myself and I just couldn't get back to the camp because the wind was pushing the nose of the canoe so What you do in that case is you get closer to the middle of the canoe and you're able to steer a little better and then keep closer to shore where Olivia is. Yay! I'll have to ask her what she thinks of that brand of canoe. You can see that the wind is making it difficult. Bring that nose around. Face the wind. Once you're facing into the wind, it's easier. But the wind will catch that nose. It's just opposing forces. How do you like the Emotion Kayak? 
11 angler. Ooh, it's really stable. I mean, that's one thing I'll say. Good. Like, I, feel, I honestly feel like I could probably stand up and move around in it. Um, Good. Interesting to think how explorers in the 17, 1800s followed the rivers of America in boats shaped very similar to this. They would just paddle upstream and, and they'd discover all kinds of things. One good book to read is the uh, Undaunt Undaunted Courage, and that's about the best camping trip ever by the Corps of Discovery with Lewis and Clark. Talk about an epic adventure and camping trip. I think it was two years the Corps of Discovery was out discovering a water passage through to the west coast. Very, very great book. Right in the wind here. As long as I keep my bow into the wind, I can paddle straight. And I keep my center of gravity closer to the middle of the boat. And I'm up on my knees, so that helps. Sometimes I have to paddle hard, so. little bend should be easier be out of the wind We're, what's that go to the right all right we got to head back it's getting about a half hour till we have to be back. Review of the Stealth 11 Emotion kayak. Well, I'm a beginner kayak. Yeah. So I'm not too familiar with all the cool yeah. professional things you can get. But yeah. for someone who doesn't have a lot of balance, Yeah. I feel very confident in it. I don't think it's gonna tip. Um, Yep. I was a little worried about how many holes are in it, but it turns out... Those are self-bailing. Yeah, so... Yep. And I looked, there's this hatch in here. Yep. And it's totally dry. Okay. So, but so, it, the one thing about this is it's open to the rest of the car, the rest of the hole. Yeah. So it's gonna... So if you put something in it, you're not gonna be able to grab it. Yeah. So you're happy with the purchase? The skag wheel? Yeah. So I was able to wheel it down myself. We're fighting the wind now. I'm not too strong. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. 25. 20th. A quarter century. My quarter life crisis. Oh my god. That just makes me that much older. The next, the next big birthday is going to be 50. Do you realize that? Oh yeah. Yeah, that came and went. Huh? <laughs> that came and went. <laughs> well,
Well, if I'm sure that they have different uh, products, kayak products, where you can have readily accessible, you know, hydration. Oh, yeah. And you could even, you know, you could even do a uh, dromedary, you know, one of those. Uh, Backpack yeah, they. We use that for hiking. Well, yeah. That way, you just have a little plastic nozzle that you just drink from. That's probably your best, most practical hydration solution. Yeah. Where's your, where's your uh, personal flotation? Right here. You need to be wearing that. You know? Got to be careful when they got power boats, especially when they're coming right at you. You want to have your personal flotation on. They're not supposed to go fast whenever they pass paddlers. It is nice. It's perfect size. Yeah. Big enough that you can go explore and do go everywhere. Yeah. Right there? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, appreciate that. Typical kid just wants to stay out in the water. What? What? Typical kid. Yeah, they don't they don't change even after 25 years. <laughs> yeah, go all the go all the way up to the gravel. This is the inaugural kayak adventure. Well, almost there. Now you got to get your feet wet. All right, so that that's a wrap for the amazing kayak adventure. Got to get a drink. <laughs> <laughs>